What's more Jamaican than having a Dutch pot, a.k.a. a Dutchie? If you are Jamaican and you don't own one, something wrong with you. But just how versatile is this pot? We made the trek to Clarendon to find out. Let's take a look. District of Yorktown, Clarendon is a family business keeping a Jamaican tradition alive and well. Pass the Dutchie pan the left hand side. Pass the Dutchie pan the left hand side. It I am Pansy Sinclair, now owning Metallic Mine. Metallic Mine started as a hustling. My husband was living in Waterhouse at the time, and he loved to do or watch his friend doing molding because he wasn't into it full time because he used to work and this tugboat. But whenever he get time off, he would buy some pots from the guy who was doing the business or even help them to make the pot and then buy some and carry out and sell. But because my husband was on the tugboat most of the time, he, he, he didn't take the business deep, that deep. He, would, he just liked to do it. I take it really, really deep. So I tell him I want to do the business in the country. We build a little shop and it's up and down now and then. Where get the raw materials? I get it from the scrapyards to buy. In terms of our health now, we're gonna using that type of material to make the pot. How are we guaranteed that that type of material? All the impurities come up on the top when the aluminum is boiled. And then you skim it off and all get in the mold is 100% aluminum. Anything in there that is not aluminum, the pot is Damage. This is one of my molar. His name is Bagam. He, he's making a pot cover. The pot cover is under the dirt. He's going to give it a walk now. And this is to get the formation of the pot cover in the dirt. And then after he, he's finished, he's going to take out the real pot cover and just leave the formation there. And the formation will be waiting on the aluminum that is getting ready right now to come in. This is a sand loom dirt that you get from the riverside. So it's between dirt and sand. This is another molar, his name is Bunny. He's doing now. A frying pan, right?
a belly mama. I want to show if that's a mama man under the. Yeah. Yes. Lift it off. And people know that is a belly pooper. Belly mama and belly pooper is both deep, but one of them is a bit wider to the bottom. And where does Pansy see metallic mines in five to ten years? Let me tell you, big time. I speak from my heart. I even have customer in Alberta, Canada. So, so by now in the next five, ten years, I see it going sky high, abroad. Me usually carry for go to Jacksonville and sell them on the top board. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in Miami. Yeah. I carry it and I sold it. The aim is yes. to invest as soon as um, we have reached another level in terms of growth and development. The aim is definitely to invest further in the business, in the machinery, mm -hmm. uh, in getting gears for the workers, all of that, getting that together to make the environment safe in terms of you know how they go about getting things done. So that is basically the aim of it to take care of the environment and the persons around us and to help the business to grow. Metallic Mines also makes utensils, pit covers and baluster molds. A Jamaican tradition is alive and well. Buy Jamaican. Support small businesses. Countdown to Jamaican.